When kids work with seeds and in the garden, they learn a lot of things about the plant life cycle. Today we're going to start a bean seed and we're going to do a few things with it before it ever gets into the ground. We've chosen to use a bush bean, which means that it will grow into a bush form. So you don't need a lot of space for this type of plant. You know, if you've got about a one square foot area in your garden or if you have a large planter, those would be good things to eventually plant this seed into. The first thing you wanna do is get a paper towel and I just go ahead and already fold it up into um, a rectangle or a square. And then you wanna get it wet. Make sure you squeeze a lot of the water out because we're going to put it in a Ziploc bag which is going to act like a terrarium for the bean. Once the paper towel is wet, we're going to lay our bean seed on top of it and then we're going to slide it into the Ziploc bag. So we'll open our Ziploc bag and just slide the paper towel with the bean on it into the bag. I'm going to center it. Go ahead and lay it down on your table and press all of the air out of it and then seal the bag. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to staple the paper bag into place. So we'll just take a stapler and work around the bag. If you can reach low enough that it gets to stapling the bean seed in place, that's even better. Go ahead and stop your video now and staple your paper towel into place inside the bag. Now that I've got my bean seed in place, I'm going to take it to a sunny window and I'm going to tape the whole bag onto the window. What's going to eventually happen is the bean will start to sprout and it will start to send its roots down and then all of a sudden the leaves will start to sprout. When you have about an inch worth of root on your bean seed, untape it from the window and turn it a quarter turn. Then see what happens, how does the root grow from there. What you'll find is that the root is always going to grow down and the sprout is always going to grow up. So you can continue to turn this and turn this and turn this as the root gets progressively bigger. Once you're done observing this, then you can go ahead and take this seed and plant it in your garden if you have a little spot or in a planter and your children can water it and take care of it and watch the bean grow and eventually you'll be able to harvest some beans off of this. Another great bean to use would be a purple bean. And they grow purple on the vine, but then when you cook them, they turn green. So those are some fun ways that you can include gardening in your children's growth and development. 